Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Wincy. Obviously you click on this video because you want to know how I got an internship at a law firm. Um, basically, yes, I am working at a small immigration law firm in Auckland City, in Auckland CBD. Um, I'm actually also a university student. I am a second year at the University of Auckland and I am studying a Bachelor of Law and Bachelor of Commerce. I am in my first year of law and my second year of commerce and for my commerce side I am majoring in international business and marketing. Okay so I'm going to get right into it. Basically for the law firm I am considered like an intern but on my contract it says that I am a documentation administrator. So I work about four days of the seven days in the week. We don't work on weekends and I have one day off during the weekday. I I work about two and a half hours every day um, on the days that I do work but with the current COVID situation we are working from home and we are doing two hours every day five days a week oh yeah um, I forgot to mention that like before um, the corona situation I would because I worked like four days of the week and I used to and I would go to uni as well I would just sometimes go to uni first and then go to work or sometimes I would go to work and then go to uni afterwards because the law firm is really close to um, university. You'll see me doing that in my, my most recent um, uni video, I'll link that down below. So yeah, I really liked how close the firm was to uni because then it meant that I can just walk to and from class to uni and it just worked really well for me. I got the job, well I started working on the 17th of February. It is currently the 11th of April so I only have about one more month before my contract ends even though we do have an opportunity to extend the contract if we do end up doing well. I just want to get right into the job searching process and the interview process and how I actually ended up getting the job. So the job searching process, I actually um, was on holiday at the beginning of this year and at that time I didn't have a job and came back to New Zealand and then I was looking for a job that could potentially work well with my university studies. I've done like a vlog of me like doing some job searching and how like I actually got the job um, on my YouTube so it's called Back in Auckland Vlog if you want to go watch that afterwards. It shows how I basically like went to the interview and all of that stuff for this job but yes um, when I came back to New Zealand I was looking for a job and I went around the mall and I handed my CV out I was just being really proactive in my job searching and then I one day was going through student job search and I came across the job to be like a documentation administrator for a law firm and at that time I had actually just completed a commercial law paper so I was kind of getting like interested in law so that's why I applied for the job and also I liked how they said that it wasn't like strictly just for law students they were open to art students and commerce students as well and at that time I wasn't a law student yet I was just a commerce student and so I applied to it and then I had to call student job search because they had to like confirm my um, application. They basically conducted like a mini phone interview with me and then I guess they liked me and I was a good candidate for the position so then they referred me to the actual law firm. I think like three days later the law firm called me up and um, asked me to come in for an interview um, which was like really fast. The shifts I saw on the job position was really short like two hour shifts and I thought that that would go really well with my university studies because obviously I need to be able to do uni at the same time as I work. I also did think that it would be a good learning opportunity with me. That's also why I applied for the job. So I just want to talk about the interview process. When I got the job interview, I was interviewed by the principal lawyer of the firm. So we have one principal lawyer. And then I was also interviewed by the firm manager. So the two of them interviewed me. So they asked me like a few questions, obviously. They asked um, what I'm studying. I told them that I'm doing commerce. I'm majoring in marketing and um, com law at the time and so they liked that I was majoring in marketing that's number one and number two they asked me if I had any social media and I told them that I have a YouTube channel because if they were to search my name up I don't want them to be surprised that I film my life and put it online so I told them that I have a YouTube channel and they also really liked that because they liked that I have like a different skill set and that could kind of like set me apart from the other applicants and throughout the interview process I just just acted really confident and I wasn't actually too shy like I told them 
I was just being completely transparent with them. I told them everything that they needed to know. And I think they also liked that I was willing up, I was willing to do anything. Like I was basically up for anything. By the end of the interview, I thought that went really well. And then a few days later, I got a call back and they asked me to come for a training. So I went to the training and there was about seven other people in the training as well. And it was a two hour training and we learned about basically the immigration system within New Zealand and how immigration works and um, all of that stuff. Yeah, and then I got the job because we, they gave us our rosters and yeah, um, I worked from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. I didn't have to work Saturday, uh, I didn't have to work Thursday and I didn't have to work obviously the weekend. I feel like so far my role in the firm has been a lot more marketing based as opposed to actually doing like some of the legal things. The only real legal thing that I've done is I've helped them draft up a contract which was really interesting because it was a contract for someone who gained a marketing position and it was kind of like my two worlds colliding because I want to potentially in the future do commercial law. Um, that's kind of why I switched out of my commercial law major and switched to doing a Bachelor of Law because I want to in the future do something to do with commercial law. So drafting up a contract is something a lot of commercial lawyers do. And then also one of my majors is marketing. So it was like really good to see like those two elements in my life like come together. I have also made them a video. That was like one of my first projects. I made them a video and then I've also collected like a database for them but at the moment since we are working from home we are doing a chef assessment for all the overseas chefs that are our clients in terms of how I'm finding the role I think it's okay I guess like doing this like and being in an immigration law firm I've realized that I and for my future I don't want to pursue immigration law um, but yeah, I do wish that the role could be a little bit more like legal based because at the moment I'm doing a lot of like marketing things, but, um, when I actually graduate from uni, I don't really want to do anything with marketing. I kind of want to do something more with law. I think it's also a really good learning opportunity. Also, I don't think another thing I've mentioned is that I have had experience working with professionals. I used to work at a real estate company called Barford and Thompson. I was their database coordinator slash administrator so I've done that and they, I guess they also like that. I've had some experience working with professionals and working in an, in an office environment. Yeah. In terms of what employers are looking for I would say that they are looking for someone who is confident, who know how to carry themselves. They're looking for someone who is willing to be up for anything and they're look, also looking for someone who has um, particular skill sets that can set them apart from everyone and skill sets that other people wouldn't have so like I guess for me like my advantage was that I make videos so I know how to edit and film videos and because of that I've made them a video so that's me contributing my value to the firm um, and they also sorry I'm like looking at my laptop they're also looking for someone who is easy to teach and um, I would say before applying to any position is make sure that your CV is formatted correctly make sure that you have education on top of anything like make sure education is on top and then you can put the experience under the bottom make sure you put education at the top because they want to see like the papers that you've done they want to make sure oh also they did ask my uh, academic transcript if you have a really good GPA or anything make sure you put that in your education section of your CV and then also you want to make sure that your cover letter is compelling it's a good cover letter it is um, consistent with your CV and make sure that you have these two things checked over so that it's correct this is advice that I learned from TikTok but I'm going to share it with you guys because I think that's actually so good. Someone on TikTok made a video and they said that like because usually employers will ask if you have any questions at the end of the interview make sure that you ask this question. The question is what does success look like in this role in three to six months time? Boom. If you ask that question the employer is going to be so stunned and they're going to be like surprised and they're going to like know that you do care about the position and that you do want to succeed in the position if they were to give you that position. So definitely do that. I would say if you are looking for a job, be very pro 
proactive um, reach out to employers utilize LinkedIn that's a really good thing if your LinkedIn isn't up to date um, make sure that it is up to date and um, make sure that you sl slot in all your experiences and your key competencies yeah that's really it P be proactive be confident fake it till you make it if you're not a confident person just fake it till you make it act confident and no one will question you that's what I did um, even though I am a pretty confident person still just like act confident and yeah my camera battery's about to run out so I, i'm gonna head out now but i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video <laughs>